Hi friends, today I'll be talking about design of combinatorial library. So little I'll be discussing about why do we need this type of chemical libraries and even we have explored many chemical libraries in terms of drug bank, pubchem and zinc database. We have seen over there, this is, these are the platforms where we are finding the huge number of chemical compounds which also have that desired properties to become a drugs. And this type of chemical library also have the all kinds of drug informations which has been taken from different type of studies, different experimental methods, different in silico methods, different in vitro studies also. As you know that when we explore that chemical libraries in PubChem and drug bank. So you have seen over there what types of data are there like their drug properties in terms of their physical properties, chemical properties, structure properties, even in structure properties, 2D structure properties, 3D structure properties and so on and that synthesis methods and the mechanism of drug actions into the target site, their target informations, their functional group informations and many more which we have explored before right and their like uh, uh, clinical trials data will be there their uh, uh, nomenclatures will be there right so many more informations which is uh, been stored in one platforms is called the chemical libraries so the objective of this type uh, for making this type of library is to identify sets of compounds, a list of compounds which we can say the potential compounds, right? And make a, a combinatorial libraries for these compounds which also should respond some uh, drug likeness properties. So what is that combinatorial libraries? So it defines as a chemical compounds which can be ensembles as a library and screening of those libraries for the compounds which also must have that desirable properties to become a drug. So before coming uh, to this uh, wide discussions, we need to understand that chemical space. Like what type of informations can be stored in a one libraries, in a one database, in a one common junctions, which can be accessed by the people who are in these fields, by clinicians, by authors, by uh, scientists, by pharmaceutical industries, and the, uh, many uh, others databases uh, <clears throat> authorized peoples who can explore and access and retrieve the data with the cross references. So what is the chemical space? Chemical space is that organic compound, oh, sorry, a small molecule in, a or, uh, in organic chemistry, a small molecule in organic chemistry. So it's a, of course the small compounds we should be alike organic compounds. 
so we need to understand those compound and we need to understand the chemical space in terms of that their chemical synthesis drug design methodology drug design approach and of course we have discussed many approach of course here uh, in terms of in silico analysis right so like a docking studies qsr studies right ligand based drug design approaches structure based drug design approaches these all these things which we have discussed to identify the lead molecules right potential molecules which have that ability to become a drug so uh, and that uh, how these compounds also uh, will be uh, responding for a particular genes and for particular entire genomes and their linkings either uh, these uh, compounds will be targeting to a particular genes right interacting to a particular gene so we need to understand that entire mechanism of actions okay, how molecules uh, those molecules works inside the cell and tissues their interaction mechanism and that is called the system biology right nanotechnology so how these drugs and these compounds can be used at the nano levels so that uh, it will be uh, useful even uh, incorporating this uh, uh, drugs at nano levels for treating for a particular disease and any other so first uh, we need to understand that why do we need this type of chemical laboratory design so already we know that even we have this experience to generate huge uh, and enormous data right so so maintaining the data right and the planning of the data right monitoring of this data right and any kind of uh, performance about those data right and the reporting of this data is are important right and even the validations of the data sets are important that should be accepted by the pharmaceutical experts right and we should also have that enough knowledge okay, how we are uh, going uh, uh, to transfer our data uh, into informations and that informations can be passed to the knowledge and that knowledge can be implemented for a particular purpose or useful purpose so that things we need to understand that so data are there in that in terms of the chemical laboratories how we will be exploring the data how we'll be retrieving those data how we'll be converting all the information into knowledge that things also should be there and the knowledge can be uh, used for a particular useful um purpose so now we need to also understand about the relationship between that uh, uh, structure properties and their biological response right their mechanism of actions their reaction conditions right so all these things we need to understand when we will be having all type of informations in one platform right so what are the scopes are there uh, for uh, uh, making this combinatorial laboratory design in terms of the representations of the structures how to search their structures it may be that a similar kind of structure searchings will be there of those compounds of substructure search will be there or you are looking for identical structure searching methods so many more methods fragment based search is there so which you are looking for that okay, uh, that uh, even the substructures are responding well for a particular target so those type of information if we need so definitely we need to have uh, uh, one platforms where we can gather or retrieve all kind of informations right so these are uh, the methods like similarity search in clusterings clusterings also we need to see the set of compounds which are responding in a similar way right in one clusters and the diversity variations which are respond, responding differently so those type of things will be there and searching the databases 
a computer aided structure elucidations in terms of their representations their nomenclatures their uh, identifications right their uh, uh, international chemical identifiers right their smile notations so all type of things we can also can uh, get it from the databases even the 3d substructure searchings uh, through the pharmacophore modelings and qsr modelings 3d qsr modeling to find identify the similar type of compounds which are responding in the same way right and qsr and dockings which we have studied before right interactions of two molecules and qsr uh, in terms of that uh, uh, is a mathematical functions which correlate wide variety of structural properties with the biological activities so those type of informations if we get in one platform that will be useful for that researchers and the pharmaceutical and people so kinds of chemical libraries already we have explored that uh, drug banks pubchem uh, and the zinc databases and many more right for the small molecules even the big molecules we have explored protein data bank and uh, nucleic acid data bank and many more so similar type of uh, databases are available also like literature databases patent databases right uh, some small project small molecule specific databases are there public databases are there and some uh, proprietary and project specific datas are also will be there so this datas and their resources if you can um, explore that will be very useful for you to understand that what are those informations can be explored in a meaningful way <clears throat> So here uh, we see that uh, like uh, chemical based data mining and explorations. So here also how the chemical uh, 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 chemical of interest, uh, we say that chemical of concerns are responding uh, their uh, activities in between many phases are there in terms of that if you need some uh, uh, suitable compounds from the databases we need to uh, do that uh, explore the databases and do some mining uh, for uh, exploring uh, informations and then if we need like in a, for chemical specific data that also we need to explore and mine the data and then we need to uh, see that structure also uh, in terms of their structure analogs property analogs and how those analogs and the structure are responsible uh, are uh, responding uh, towards that biological functions and their uh, mechanism of interactions which will be establishing that structure activity relationships so those all these things we can um, uh, retrieve from that and databases so what are the applications are there for this uh, for this uh, type of databases uh, for this chemical libraries or combinatorial libraries first is that chemical informations so we need to retrieve that chemical informations where we can store retrieve the chemical structures uh, and associate data uh, to manage that uh, floods of the data and then we have we need to advertise those type of informations uh, uh, at that uh, in web information web uh, uh, protocol or we can say on the internet in terms of the disseminations of the data on the internet and cross linking of the data informations through our the databases <coughs> even we can like uh, link uh, all type of information with uh, uh, different type of databases where any person can explore uh, all informations by exploring uh, even one databases so like if suppose drug bank uh, information can be explored by using the pubchem and pubchem informations can be explored by uh, using the drug bank and even the pubchem and drug bank information can be explored by using the zinc databases that is also uh, that is called that cross linking of the data to information and all field of chemistry is right where we uh, uh, we are talking about their physical chemical and biological properties of the compound and even we can predict that uh, 
type of properties of any chemical compounds uh, by giving like uh, giving uh, as an input either that nomenclature name or um, uh, smile notations or maybe international chemical identifier in terms of the enchi or any things where we are predicting their molecular weight uh, first thing first screening method is the lipinski school of fives where we are screening the compound based on this like their molecular weight like log p value number of hydrogen bond acceptor atoms number of don uh, hydrogen bond donors and uh, log p values and number of rotatable bonds right and their um, uh, inhibitory properties right enzyme inhibitory properties and any um, ic50s or right any ld50s or any many more informations we can get at that uh, first uh, screening level so now another uh, terms in terms of the bioactive molecules where we can see that uh, that drug interactions into the binding site or target site right where uh, drugs are responding well uh, for a particular disease right so identifying uh, identifications of new lead structures right by different methods which we have studied before right and once we have um, found the lead compound the next step is that optimizing of those lead structures by different protocols which we have studied before right and then make that good uh, structure activity relationship between that uh, between those predictions and that uh, uh, observed biological response so this are that structure activity relationship where we are mapping or uh, like how that structural properties are responding to that biological activities and then next step is to like a comparisons of the chemical libraries how the chemical libraries are um, uh, accurate right uh, and validate that also is there so all the chemical uh, libraries uh, should go through that quality check and quality assurance and monitored by their uh, uh, organizations always right and then uh, um, and also we can see that uh, definitions and analysis of structural diversities how the structures are uh, responding in a, uh, similar fashions or um, some variations are there and then planning so all these things like in terms of that uh designing planning designing managing organizing reporting and these all these things of course we need to take care for um, designing that chemical libraries <clears throat> so now analysis of high throughput data like high throughput data how to analyze which are having high significant statistical values right where we have we screen thousands of compounds together right so those things also can be like in you know, a taken into uh, considerations while retrieving and exploring the data right and uh, docking of a ligand into receptors those type of data will be there predictions of metabolism of genobiotics right so all the metabolism right and catabolism right metabolism anabolism and catabolism already you know so and our body also have some kind of genobiotics right some kind of like in you know, antibodies are there antigens are there and enzymes are there right different type of enzymes responding well for a particular purpose even type of uh, food additives are can be considered as a genobiotics and some type of drugs also can be considered as a genobiotic so those type of things we need to understand and then analysis of biochemical pathways if the drugs are responding for any chemical pathways a biochemical pathways we need to understand and these all type of informations will be there in the databases that's why we need that chemical libraries or combinatorial libraries um, uh, and last step is that organic chemistries where we are talking about that uh, predictions of the courses and the products of organic reactions right like uh, either those compounds are uh, drug are responding uh, reversibly or irreversibly 
right their mechanism of actions we need to understand and the design of organic synthesis right uh, so how this uh, molecule has come in origins in existence by which methods those things also we need to understand of course all the chemicals are resourced from different type of plants animals fungi and the bacteria virus right so we need to understand that uh, their um, uh, like experimental studies right and that chemical synthesis like which method it is synthesized by many experimental methods are there many computational methods are there to synthesize right already we have studies all this how to identify the lead molecule how to validate optimize the lead molecule how to identify the target how to validate the target these all these things we have discussed before well right so now here in that organic chemistry if you say that Uh, the predictions of the course and product of the organic reactions if we talk about so this mechanism of reactions in terms of the reversible and irreversible so many drugs which are like binding reversibly and irreversibly so these things we need to understand now all the researchers are trying to synthesize uh, the molecules which have that uh, uh, potential properties to become a drugs Uh, which uh, uh, which they are screening uh, by reversible reactions where reversible reactions have many benefits in terms of that uh, the reversible mechanism if you say that uh, it's going to bind uh, to a particular uh, uh, enzymes right uh, or particular targets uh, it it is not going to bind for a long time it's, it will give the effect and it is coming out from the target sites right so that it's not going to stay long for, uh, on tissues and cells and which will give the less side effect and toxicities right while other hands irreversible, irreversible reactions which will bind to the target and that uh, uh, any binding sites uh, and which will uh, of course will uh, be binding tightly and it will remain uh, stay long for a, uh, for a lifetimes which will lead leads uh, uh, toxicities and some side effects so we need to have uh, uh, to identify such compounds which will be reacting reversibly so this all these things we need to understand their mechanism i hope uh yeah then next also is there the analytical chemistry in terms of that uh, how to uh, analyze their inorganic properties right mm, and predictions their quality origins uh, right all these things and their uh, structures based on the spectroscopic data and the chem informatics approaches are there where we are understanding how to utilize data and how to transfer into informations uh, and the information can be transferred into knowledge and knowledge can be passed for a particular useful purpose right so uh, i hope you can understand entire um, like uh, uh, about that the need of that community community library or chemical libraries